traveler. I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? Oh, isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is... I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. That's a cool story, but is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber. Thank you. 
here. Did you have a good read-through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. Surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. What's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. 
Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean.